Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotzesty, and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Uh, over the last few episodes, we have tried to work our way towards higher production of circuits. And let's have a look at where we stand with the blue ones, because everything ties into the blue ones. And at least at the moment, I see uh, now we are better off than we were here, because here we always had this dip downs to zero production, and then there we had a long dry spell. And now we also have these dips, but we never go down to zero. Uh, if we look at the red ones as well, uh, we can also see there we basically maxed out, added a second factory to it, and now we are uh, fluctuating again, but on a higher level than where we were before. Green ones, um, they are pretty, pretty stable. Um, maybe we can see a bit of uh, a rise here towards the end. Uh, but I think the green ones, what we have to, to consider here is always how much do we produce, how much do we consume. And I think green ones are okay at the moment. Uh, we can see we are producing more red circuits than we are consuming. And I think for the for the blue ones, um, there we are also producing more than we consuming. So we have an overproduction. However, what we don't necessarily have an overproduction is power. Um, currently, we are sitting here at at four four thirty four fifty megawatt, but we can see there there was a peak. There was a peak, uh, and basically, this this is all the the, the base level uh, consumption, but really the the assembly machines they make the the difference and i think at this point we max out the the power that we actually could produce so today we will work on a, a setup to get more power and of course at this point power means nuclear plant we have a, a quad core here works pretty well um, we I had to tweak these set up a, a few times in order to uh, to not uh, block the uh, input of materials but I think now that's that's pretty stable um, but a quad core will not do so i think we will go with uh two by four uh meaning an uh, um what is that an octocore eight reactors uh, that gives us a bit more bonus uh, and there of course we have to figure out how to do it because with a with a quad core each side is equal length so we can insert and uh, 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 pick up the, the fuel cells from the side here, symmetrical, but with, with a quad core, one side would be longer than the other and we have to insert and uh, pick up on the long side. So we probably need a bit of a different layout we also want to make sure that the length of the heat pipe is as short as possible. Um, and then we also have to consider that we get enough uh, water into the system. 
and there are a few numbers uh, uh, with ratios and so on but uh, all that can be looked up on the on the factorio wiki which i will do of course before uh, crafting all the the machines that that we need here but first we need to figure out the pipeline before because i think we will leave this square as it is and maybe use this uranium field for the production of our fuel cells but we will then not have the reactor here but we will place it basically here somewhere in the water because that allows us to basically uh, add the pumps directly um, uh, where they go into into the heat exchanges and don't have this uh, long wire mess because I think uh, we need quite a bit of, of water to fuel all that. So I think here for this setup that means we also have to pick up the fuel cells and when we do that we should also deliver the iron uh, that we need to produce those something uh, that we did by hand down here uh, and at least currently we're still good stocked up on fuel cells um, but delivering the iron should uh, solve the potential problem that I forget and then we run out of fuel cells and run into big problems. We also have to consider what we do with the spent fuel cells because um, they want to uh, recycle. Here we do that on this side and put everything back into that pipeline. So basically that probably means uh, three train stations, one for delivering um, the iron, one for delivering the used fuel cells, one for picking up the new fuel cells. Or maybe um, the delivering of the used cells and the picking up, that can be probably two stations, but can be one train, I think. But let's not rush into it. And uh, uh, first, I think we need a few centrifuges. And I don't think I have any spare. Oh, I do have 12 spare. Um, not sure if that is enough. Down here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. Is that right? Four, eight. That's eight. Eight, not eleven. Eleven and four are twelve. And I do have twelve. And then we probably need one more for the recycling. And I think setup wise this this works quite well then we also need uh, a few miners there should have them and we need to have a bit of uh, sulfuric acid down there so i think that's the that's the easy part of of the whole project uh, then but more tricky might be how to figure out the, the train stations, how to place them. But let me put into place this, this first easy part. And then we will see how I can manage everything else. The first part went in pretty smoothly. Uh, I might be a bit worried about sulfuric acid. Because in the past uh, there were a few 
times we have run low on that but I think uh, if we look at um, this one eventually this will backfill um, and um, then our consumption of sulfuric acid for the mining is pretty reduced this is basically the same setup and uh, I have placed here uh, the rail line uh, to see uh, are we good with with the loading and we can have the, the loading right here um, that would then be a uranium fuel cell pickup and add an icon to it this one and then here that's basically where we have the drop-off and that's probably a bit more difficult as um, here we only have a long-handed inserter um, and then uh, let's see we need the second wagon there yes that would then be uh, used uranium ah ah wrong 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 because what we then have we can have line going here and maybe here that can be our unloading because we need something like this like that and then we can have something nice and that means our unloading station would then be here used fuel cells delivery Right. So all we have to do is hook that up somehow to this line. Let's do it here. We'll add such a signal there. Um, we need we're missing signals here anyway. By the looks of it. So, then have one signal there, and then here can go that way. And have it that way, and we will only have one train uh, going this route. Um, is that. No, that's not correct. Exit this direction. That's correct. So, and here we can basically have fast loading, uh, but I would expect um, 
the, the production is not that fast. And then we also need some um, uh, iron going in here. So let's have a line going like this. Limit the chests to stack. Maybe extend this a bit. Have a steel chest at the end. And actually, let's move that back by one. So we have long handed insert here, and that should allow us to have. Uh, one gap here on this side, which is preferable uh, for fast unloading. So here we then have the uh, exit. Uh, let's see where we need to place the, the station. We can have it here. Uh, we name that um actually that can be uh, we don't have any general iron plate delivery anymore so let's make that iron plate for uranium cells Uh, no need for a limit because we also will only have one train. And then going this way. And here we're coming from the top. Like that. Uh, we want to have signal here, signal there. Um, we need power there and there. All good. And for this to really kick in now, we just need the uh, 41 uranium 235 uh, or the 40 for, for the machine to kick in. But I guess we're loading this one first. Yes. In here we have three, one, one zero so eventually this will kick off and what we can do now let's add train 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 wagon I'll just have enough coal on me for this part uh, then we will go from here we will go for um, train fueling let's do the train fueling first train fueling iron plate wait five seconds there then we go to waiting iron plate loading waiting iron 
Wait, loading. If I can find it. Uh. Waiting iron plate pickup. Then iron plate pickup. Iron plate loading until we are full and then we go to here until we are empty. And that's it. Now I need one more train for uh, this circle and of course don't have it on me but let's head up to our factory where I can grab a train and then we can also place it uh, up there uh, to make the round. The best way to place a train I find is up here right at the fueling stations uh, because then I don't have to worry about putting in the fuel into the train. And here we... Uh -huh. We probably cannot finish uh, uh, that cycle here. But I guess we will start with, with train fueling here as well. Do that for five seconds, which we are currently just doing. Then go to this station, uh, empty cargo, this station, full cargo. And then we need to go to the power plant to basically unload and reload again but we can send that to that station and then it should right move to the next one where it will wait quite a while um, until it is loaded but I think that does it for this episode and the nuclear plant has to wait for next time because I think what I should do in preparation for that episode is making sure that I have all the reactors, the heat exchanges, the heat pipes, the, the turbines and not forgetting the landfill because in past projects where we placed in the rail we had actually to wait uh, until I got enough landfill to uh, uh, do these land bridges around here which is a bit of a pain so hopefully until we get to the next episode enough landfill has stocked up for that all right i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please consider leaving a like uh, also subscribe and i will see you in the next one goodbye